We all know that it's important to, uh, to maintain social distancing. So when you're on a bike, you need to keep away from pedestrians and other cyclists. If you're approaching somebody, you look back, make sure it's safe to move out, and then you move out a good distance. It's not just two metres. There's nothing, nothing special about two metres. It should be as far as possible. But you look back and you move out. And then when, once you're safely passed, you move back in again. Sometimes there might actually be someone coming up behind you, but if they're far enough away, you signal. And you move out, and if they're a decent driver, then they'll wait until you're past the hazard, and then they'll overtake at a decent distance. So it can be quite annoying when something like this happens. Oh, too close, that mate. Now, this cyclist didn't leave nearly enough space, and he actually said that it was because he was worried about the traffic coming up from behind. No, but you look back and then wait till you can go out. And that's understandable when people are driving like this. That one. Mike Tango, 60 up to me with him, John. And these are all taken from the same stretch of road. So that driver was doing about 50 miles an hour there. So we really need something to be done about all this traffic. And it's not just the moving traffic that's a problem. Uh, where I'm, I am there, I'm just approaching um, a quite a busy local shop that's providing fruit and veg and all sorts of things. And one of the problems here is that there are a lot of parked cars out, uh, outside it. And you can see that the pedestrians on there are just not able to maintain a social distance. In the, in the queue they're actually maintaining a distance, but people passing the queue can't. And the reason is, or one of the reasons, is all the parked cars. If there weren't all the parked cars, then perhaps they could move into the road, if the road was made safe for both pedestrians and cyclists. So something really needs to be done urgently to address this problem. Social distancing isn't going away for a long time, and uh, we need long-term changes to be made on the roads to accommodate this.